Today, I plan on sharing my initial impressions of a leather case for my 11 inch second generation iPad Pro from a nappy. But first, a little background on my search. So back in 2013, I purchased my first iPad, which is now referred to as a fourth generation iPad. I quickly discovered that I needed to get a case for it because it's, it was slippery and I was really worried about dropping it. So at the t even at the time, I was thinking, boy, a leather case would be nice. If I could get a genuine leather case, I thought that would be elegant and professional looking and it would wear well. Since these devices are expensive, I figured I'm probably gonna keep this thing for many, many years, you know, and a leather case would, would, uh, would age well. But I, was, I didn't find what I was looking for, but one day when I was in an indoor mall, I came across this faux leather Brookstone case which I've had on my iPad ever since. And I use it just about daily. But as you can see here, it's, it's starting to show some, it's really showing its age. It, it, uh, the material, whatever it is, is flaking off. And uh, when you open it up, you can see some significant wear uh, and so on. But I, I came to, to really kind of appreciate the simplicity of this case. It does a pretty good job of protecting my iPad. At least it's, you know, it's, it's, it's encased in something that it just you just one piece you, f you flip it o flip it open it, it turns it on it's got a nice closure it, it it latches it pretty well and and that's about it the only other feature about it i guess that's worth mentioning is as you'd expect if you fold it over on itself you can set it on your lap and a chair or a couch it uh it also has it also has a flip out stand on the back so you can prop it up on a, a table or a desk. The battery was getting really tired. I sent my iPad back to Apple to get the battery replaced and they, they simply said there was, there was nothing wrong with the battery and they just sent it back. So I decided it was time. So in two, 2019, I broke down and bought a new iPad. I purchased a, an 11 inch iPad Pro, which is now referred to as a Gen 1 iPad Pro. It has the additional feature that it can have a, the Apple Pencil, which gets attached magnetically on the top surface where it inductively charges. Now, you know, I needed a case and again, I started my search for a simple leather case, but in the meantime, I received the Apple Folio as a gift, which I've been using ever since. Now the Folio, for those that aren't familiar with it, you know, it's just a two piece case that attaches to the iPad magnetically. And it, it can fold around like so to, to give you a viewing angle when seated at a desk or a table. But other than that, it doesn't, it doesn't offer a lot of additional protection to the iPad. And in particular, it, it doesn't protect the, the Apple Pencil whatsoever when it's, when it's on, on a top surface. Unfortunately, back in October, I dropped my iPad on concrete. So I damaged the frame. I jammed the, the volume control buttons. I cracked the screen and it turns out I jammed the power button. I was still, it was still usable until I updated the iOS one day, which bricked my iPad. So I tried to get it repaired locally and they determined it was something they really weren't willing to touch and it was gonna be expensive. So in the end, I elected to just bite the bullet and buy another. So I recently received my new iPad Pro. Again, it's an 11 inch iPad Pro, but now it's referred to as the Gen 2 or 2020 iPad Pro. The only real difference that I can tell is that it's got a different camera. So now you can see 
I don't, it's, it's not in the case at the moment. And iPads are really slippery suckers. This thing is just itching to be dropped. So I started my search once again. Simple case, genuine leather. But this time I wanted a case that included something on the interior to protect the iPad itself. And then I really was looking for something that would store the pencil inside the case and keep it protected as well. So I did a bunch of searching on using Google and actually in YouTube as well. And in the end, I broke it down to a simple search string of iPad Pro and leather case. I had to go through multiple pages, I think, but eventually I came across the Etsy website or their store, I guess. And as you can see here as a sample, you'll, you'll see a number of leather cases for iPads and other things, phones and so on and so forth. And there's a bunch of samples here that, to kind of also demonstrate cases that have features which I was particularly not interested in, like pockets and pouches, sleeves, um, cases that have tabs that fold over, snaps and so on. If you, if you dig deep enough, you'll start seeing cases that have elastic bands and zipper cases and a bunch of other things. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of these cases are quite nice. They can be made out of quality leather and you can spend almost as much as you care to. But in the end, I did find, that's how I found the Anapi case. This particular sample is for the 12.9 inch. So I followed some of these links and I eventually found the the actual Nappy website. So here's here's the case, one of the cases that's available for the 11 inch second generation iPad Pro, which is what I have. And this particular case is available in six different colors. And as you'll see here, and I'll leave links to the links below, is there's not there's not a huge amount of information here, probably adequate I suppose, but you know it's it's kind of lacking in my opinion. They have a picture for each of the six colors and one picture showing, you know, what this thing looks like opened. The additional information is just, it weighs 12 ounces, leather finish, it's made out of genuine leather. Details, it's available in six colors. I searched around a little bit more and discovered there was a second case, which is a little bit more expensive. And as you see down here, the only difference is it's available in one color, dark brown. It weighs two pounds. There are no details. So I contacted a nappy to find out what's the difference between these two different cases. And what they told me was the first listing is available in six colors and the genuine leather has color coding. The second one is not coated with colors and has a natural leather texture and is only available in the dark brown color. Now I did receive this response within a day, so I was pretty happy with that. And incidentally, this, this uh, video is not sponsored or anything. I have no affiliation with Anapi. I just uh, was happy that I got a response. I was disappointed that I couldn't find more information in, in by way of reviews on the internet and that there were virtually no independent reviews on YouTube, which is why I'm doing this quick review just to kind of maybe fill that need. So I went ahead and ordered this case no shipping and handling, and they shipped it right away. I got it within a few days. So here it is. The Genuine Leather iPad Pro Case from a nappy. It smells like and feels like Genuine Leather. Now I suspect it's, it's pretty thin leather, but leather nonetheless. They have their logo embossed in the front here, as you'd expect. As I expected, it's a very simple case. It just folds over that covers one piece. It has a nice polymer interior case, which is made out of some sort of resilient polymer. And of course, for me, the most important feature is it has a recess for the Apple Pencil. So the, to insert the iPad, helps to get it the right way around. You just, um, just set it in one edge just have it work it around. 
and I think it's in there pretty well. I mean, I have no no doubt that that's you know no worries that that's going to fall out of there. One of the features that I, that I really appreciate about this internal case is it has molded in overlays for the power button and for the volume control buttons, but it also has a thin strip along the top surface where the Apple Pencil sets. Now, a number of cases that I looked at actually have the top surface wide open for the Apple Pencil. But as you can see here, it still attaches magnetically and charges inductively. But when, when done using your iPad and you're getting ready to transport it or just simply put it away, you can store the pencil in this nice little recess. And when the cover is closed, it's all nice and protected. So that's, that's the big feature that I was after for an iPad case. Now to remove the pencil, it has a little, they have little cutouts behind it. So you can just stick your finger behind and pop, pop it out. So you can see these, these, two little, these two little recesses. I'll just pop it back in. So that's pretty handy. The case itself folds over on itself like you'd expect. For, you know, if you want to sit down at a chair or on the couch, you can still do that. And then the, the feature that they, the way they did the viewing piece is they do have this extra crease along the back. And they have four detents along, on the, in, inside the top cover, where you can, you just set the lower edge of the case for viewing when seated at a desk or a table. It has the sleep-wake feature. I have the speaker, the speakers are still enabled, so I can actually hear it turning on and off. So that part works as advertised. So the only, the only downsides that I've seen so far is the, the magnets that hold the, that hold the cover closed aren't, aren't as strong as what I'm accustomed to. So even on the Apple Folio case, there's definitely a, you can definitely feel it close. And even on my cheapo, Brookstone case, you gotta actually, you know, you can you can feel it. There's th those magnets are in there, but this 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 case, it's really more relying on gravity to close it. So I, mean, I don't know if that's a downside or not. But, you know, it feels more like a notebook, which I guess is okay too. If you're a, a power user of the Apple Pencil, the the fact that it has a, a bit of a lip, it's probably about a millimeter. You know, that may or may not be a problem. But for me, I'm not a power user of the pencil, at least not yet. And I figure if I need to, it's a pretty simple, simple matter to peel the, the iPad out of the case and use it, use it on a flat surface. I wonder about how well the edge treatment will hold. They put some, some sort of a sealant around the edge which I, I, I appreciate why they, they had to do that, I think, to cover up the edge so it doesn't fray and so on. But I, I'd be curious, I'll be curious to learn how well that holds up over the next several years. And if it's like my last case, which I've had for seven years, you know, I'll, I'll certainly have my iPad Pro uh, for some number of years if I don't drop it. So my initial impressions of this case are actually pretty good. It, it really is met everything that I was hoping to find, you know, a simple case. It's made out of leather. It has an internal case to protect it. And most importantly of all, for me, it has a, a place to, to store the Apple Pencil and keep it protected. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give me a like below. If you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, you'll get to see me in the next video.